Alrighty, okay, this is probably one of my least favorite videos I'm ever going to make, and I know that it's going to upset a lot of people as well, as did my first video when I discussed the possible closure of theme parks. Everyone threw their arms up, you're wrong, you don't know what you're talking about, blah, blah, blah. Fast forward, and they literally closed down the theme parks, and now I'm here to talk about even um, possibly some more closures. So I just want to stress, real, this is really important, that this video is pure speculation. Everything stated in this video that's going to come out of my mouth is not official. It has not been said by any of the theme park companies I'm going to discuss. Um, and none of it's official or um, anything serious until the parks state something themselves. So just very importantly, none of this is true until the parks come out and say this themselves. This is just me speculating um, and making some assumptions based off of what I'm seeing in the business side of the world and uh, some graphs that I've been looking at. Again, I, I've been pretty accurate um, and on top of things so far, and I do um, hold what I'm about to say pretty uh, close to me. I, th I think this is pretty uh, accurate. That's about, about to, I think this is pretty <laughs> accurate as to what's about to play out is what I'm trying to say. As you can see, I'm stumbling over my own words because um, just some of the stuff I've been hearing through the grapevine, um, it's kind of uh, disheartening. But um, as you can see on this chart, this is a comparison as to what's been going on in the States versus what happened in Italy. Again, it obviously arrived in Italy before it arrived in the States. That's why it's not matched up per day. Um, so when you compare what's been going on in the States currently over the last couple of days, the numbers actually align perfectly. This is very alarming. So um, even today, March 14th, uh, down there, Saturday, the numbers align literally almost to the T uh, for cases. In fact, actually, as of um, a couple hours ago, it's 100 over. So I think the U.S. is at 2,600 cases versus 2,500 um, on the same kind of 11-day period uh, over in Italy. So it, it's getting alarming. Um, I would expect by the end of next week, you know, that they could be in the 13,000s. Um, which is truly alarming. And if this keeps going, there's obviously going to be measures that need to go into place, just like they do in the countries that have a lot of cases as well. You're going to see lockdowns. You're going to see the border lockdown. You're going to see restaurants and stuff closing. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just something that's uh, that comes along with uh, certain events that happen like this. And unfortunately, it did end up being a little more serious than even I was predicting myself. Um, I wasn't expecting every theme park company to announce closures like that. I was definitely expecting a lot of the, the larger ones, because at the end of the day, no matter what anyone says, one person getting coronavirus at your theme park is a bigger PR nightmare than shutting your park down for two weeks. No matter what anyone says in the comments section down below, um, anyone who studies business or knows anything about business or marketing, that is the case. If you talk to anyone in the business world or marketing world, if one person were to get coronavirus at a Disney World park or a Six Flags park or a Cedar Fair park, it would ruin them for the rest of the year versus shutting down for two weeks. Now, what's going to happen moving forward? Well, I got some bad news. It looks like, and again, this is mere speculation, pure speculation. Nothing has been announced whatsoever. From what I'm hearing and from what I'm speculating and guessing... Canada's Wonderland and other parks like the Six Flags Park and Cedar Fair Parks and possibly Disney Parks, all those, again, pure speculation here, nothing factual. They might be closed until June. Um, take that with a huge grain of salt, but uh, I definitely um, am seeing trends that could suggest that. The CDC is suggesting school closures for up to eight weeks now. Um, we're hearing the, the government even telling people that they need to start stocking up on food and items to last them ab around the eight week period as well, two months. So, um, I would expect close to June, June, like the beginning of June, maybe end of, um, uh, May, uh, parks to open up then. It's just, it's, it's, it's unfortunately something that's just going to have to happen. Again, if you look at the numbers here, this thing could get out of hand and it needs to be contained. And to contain it, you lock down everything, unfortunately. And eventually, things will get fixed. And this is just the price uh, that we pay as society. You know, we work together to help each other. And this is something that we're all just going to have to do together, make sacrifices, um, and live better. Anyways, again, don't panic. 
Uh, the media is definitely blowing things out of proportion. At the end of the day, if you're under the age of 60, you're just going to be getting flu-like symptoms, pneumonia-like symptoms. Wash your hands, be healthy, um, and uh, don't touch your face. And you should be good. I'm obviously not making any promises, but yeah, just wash your hands and go out and have fun. Like, you know what I mean? Don't change your life too much yet until the government says otherwise. Um, I know a lot of people up here in Canada are still living their life pretty normally. And the uh, economic impact is pretty severe. Actually, I don't know, a lot of you don't know this about me, but I do Uber driving right now. And I've been talking to a lot of people about the economic impacts. And, you know, I had a mother, and this is the part that upsets me is, you know, like in the roller coaster community, everyone's complaining that their home park's not opening. And this mom was explaining to me yesterday how all these people who have credit cards and all this are out there buying everything that they need to get them through the next month for their kids and everything. And she lives paycheck to paycheck and she has three kids and now they're off school for two weeks, two to three weeks. And she's got to go buy snacks for them. She can't stop working, but she can't afford a daycare because of the coronavirus. And now she's got to um, literally spend every dollar she has just getting groceries for them to be home um, for this extended amount of time. So there's a greater economic impact going on than literally a theme park being closed. There's people losing their jobs. There's people losing significant amounts of income. There's a new family that literally spent their entire life's fortune opening a restaurant just simply at the wrong time, forcing themselves to have to close it and not get to experience that life experience of opening their first restaurant like there's greater things happening than your home park not being able to open up smarten up and honestly like suck it up there's there's more to life than your home park and it just like it truly upsets me when i see enthusiasts on facebook and instagram literally complaining about their home park not opening up like stop like there's people out there struggling and losing everything over this virus right now have some sympathy don't look like a tool like you literally look like a tool complaining about your home park not being open get over it anyways i didn't want to rant too much about that i just wanted to give some insight i it's just i know so many people who are losing their jobs over this and it's just got such a negative economic impact the stock market's crashing it's definitely a lot larger of a problem than originally anticipated it's definitely become a huge economic problem, and there's a pretty good chance that this could push countries into a recession, which will be even a bigger problem because that could take years to get out of. And uh, yeah, uh, I, th I just wanted to come on and share some of this speculation on some bad news. Um, and uh, yeah, comment down below what you guys are thinking, what you think on the situation. Do you think parks are going to open up come um, April? Or do you think they're going to extend their delay to May, June? What do you guys honestly think? Feel free to say whatever you want down below. I'm not going to drag anyone if you're like, even if you got a strong opinion on you being upset about the park closing, I'm not going to drag you. Don't worry. I just wanted to get a message across. Like, again, I know everyone, not everyone's in the same mindset. There are younger people who are upset about their home park closing. They don't know the bigger things in life and that there's more to life than, you know, fun, which is fine. Don't worry. Comment down below what you're thinking and uh, hopefully we can have a discussion Thanks so much for watching this video on the impact that this could potentially have on theme parks and other businesses. Um, and stay tuned for more. I might be partnering up with someone to work on um, uh, some live streams, kind of like a podcast on the situation, the business side. Um, so uh, maybe we'll announce something on Instagram soon. So head on over to Amusement Insiders on Instagram. Uh, for uh, some details on what might be going on there. And then we have some exciting stuff working uh, in place, working on a brand new project, uh, Dreamscapes, uh, involving nature and music and storytelling that I've been truly inspired to work on. So hopefully you guys uh, like that as well outside of the amusement industry, just because the amusement parks and theme parks and roller coasters aren't that big. Um, significant to me as they are to other enthusiasts, which is a lot of the time I get called GP. Um, so I've been working on some other things that I find uh, inspiring and uh, neat and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already. Have a good one, guys. Bye.